Hey guys, this is Nicholas. One of the best selling high end business laptops on the market is the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme. Today, Lenovo just introduced the next generation of the X1 Extreme, which is the Generation 4 now. So, what's new about the Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4? Here's everything that you need to know. As always, we'll start with everything under the hook, such as the CPU and the GPU. Then we'll talk about the display options. After that, we'll talk about the input and output ports, followed by the wireless connectivities. And then we'll talk about the battery life and the AC adapter. And at the end, we'll wrap it up with a few miscellaneous items, such as the webcam, the dimensions, the weight, and the pricing, etc. So without further ado, let's get started. First of all, the X1 Extreme Gen 4 is powered by Intel's latest 11th generation processor up to a Core i9 Tiger Lake H series chip with vPro, which is basically the most powerful Intel CPU on the market now. It has 8 cores and 16 threads, maximum turbo frequency is 4.9 GHz, with 24 megabytes of Intel's smart cache. If budget is not your constraint, this CPU is the best of the best. For the graphics card, you have five options to choose from. The base model of the Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4 only comes with Intel's integrated UHD graphics card. However, if you're looking for a dedicated graphics card, you have four options to choose from. All of them are the latest NVIDIA GeForce 3000 series. You have the RTX 3050 Ti, the RTX 3060, the RTX 3070, and the RTX 3080. Repeat 10 times after me. Compared to the previous generation of the Lenovo x Extreme, in which the graphics card was maxed out at the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1650 Ti, the X1 Extreme Gen 4 has a major step up in terms of graphics card, making it not only a great laptop for working professionals, but also for gamers as well as creative professionals such as video editors. And because of the more powerful graphics card, Lenovo had to massively redesign the entire cooling system with more powerful fans and air intake through the keyboard and the vapor chamber. As a point of reference, the approach that Lenovo is taking for the X1 Extreme Gen 4 is very similar to Dell's latest XPS 17. In terms of memory, the X1 Extreme Gen 4 has two sodium slots. You can configure up to 64GB of DDR4 RAM with 3200MHz. In terms of storage, you have two M.2 slots that you can configure up to 4TB of solid-state drive. Both the memory and storage give Lenovo a competitive edge in the market because a lot of high-end laptops are maxed out at 32GB of RAM and 2TB of solid-state drive. In terms of the display, the Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4 is also a major step up compared to the previous generation. The previous generation features a 15.6 inch display with 16 to 9 aspect ratio, but the latest Gen 4 features a 16 inch display with a 16 to 10 aspect ratio, which is getting more and more common in high end laptops such as Dell's latest XPS series. Unlike the previous generation of the Lenovo X1 Extreme, the Full HD display is no longer an option. The base model of the X1 Extreme Gen 4 comes with a Quad HD IPS display. It is a non-touch display with 2560 by 1600 pixels. It has 400 nits of brightness and gives 100% sRGB color gamut. It has 60Hz of refresh rate and features low blue light. From there, you can upgrade to an Ultra HD 4K IPS display, 
The Ultra HD 4K IPS display is available in both non-touch and touch options. Both Ultra HD 4K displays have 3840 by 2400 pixels. They both have 600 nits of brightness and 100% Adobe RGB color gamut. They also support HDR 400 Adobe Vision. In terms of refresh rate, they are both 60Hz just like the base model, and they both feature low blue light. The 60Hz refresh rate is not terrible for a laptop, but can be a deal breaker for gamers. Considering that most of the high-end gaming laptops have display options of 120Hz to 240Hz refresh rate, so if you are looking for a smooth gaming experience, this laptop is probably not the right option. Also, the previous generation of the Lenovo X1 Extreme has the OLED display option. However, as of today's press release, we still don't know whether the OLED option is available for the Gen 4 or not. Next, let's talk about the ports. On the left-hand side of the laptop, we have the power in port. Next to it are two USB Type-C Thunderbolt 4 ports. We also have the HDMI 2.1 port, as well as a 3.5mm headphone and microphone combo jack. On the right-hand side of the laptop, we have the standard SD card slot. Next to it are two USB Type-A 3.2 Gen 1 ports. We also have a security lock slot. The Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4 is also available in 5G option. So for the 5G option, there will be a SIM card tray next to the SD card slot. Next, let's talk about wireless connectivity. The Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4 features the Intel AX210 2x2 Wi-Fi 6 chip. It also has Bluetooth 5.2. And as mentioned before, it also has the 5G option. The 5G option can support up to 6 GHz of speed. It also has a 4G LTE option. However, the 4G LTE option is only available in China. Next, let's talk about the battery. The battery is a 90 watt hour lithium ion battery. This is 10 watt hours more than the previous generation. Lenovo claims that it can give you up to 10 hours of battery life, which was based on testing on Mobile Mark 2018. Lenovo also put out a disclaimer that battery life varies significantly based on its settings, usage, and other factors. So I would say don't put your money on 10 hours of battery life, but more realistically between 6 to 8 hours. And for the AC power adapter, it has three options, depends on what graphics card you are going with. You have the slim tip 135 watts, 170 watts, and 230 watts. All of them support rapid charge, which is Lenovo's terminology for fast charging. Next, let's wrap this up with a few miscellaneous items. First, let's talk about the keyboard. The keyboard has 1.5mm keystroke. It is also backlit with white LED. And no, there's no RGB lighting for this keyboard, making it less attractive to the gamers, but more attractive to the working professionals. For the size of the touchpad, it is 115mm by 67mm. And for the size of the laptop itself, it is 359.5 by 253.8 by 19.9 millimeters, or 14.13 by 9.99 by 0.78 inches. The weight of the laptop is 1.814 kilograms, or roughly 4 pounds. For the webcam, it's also a major step up. It's no longer a 720p half HD webcam. Knowing that video conferencing has become an essential part of our life, Lenovo gives you a full HD 1080p webcam this time. It also has a privacy shutter and the infrared sensor for window hello sign-in. To me, this should be the standard for all high-end laptops. However, 
Most of them, as we know it, only give you a 720p half HD webcam. So big shout out to Lenovo for raising the bar here. In terms of color, it is only available in one color, which is black. Not just black, but Lenovo call it the deep black. And for the top cover, it is just black for the base model, but you get the woven carbon fiber top cover if you go with the 4K display option. So, if you are a white supremacist, this Lenovo X1 Extreme Gen 4 is probably not the right laptop for you. Last but not least, let's talk about the pricing. The base model is $2,149 before tax. And the price will just go up from there depends on your configurations. As of today, we still don't know the exact configuration for the base model yet. All we know is that it will be available sometime in August this year. So as soon as more information is available, I will either put them in the description below or I'll make a separate video to provide you guys more updates. So there you have it. What do you think about the Lenovo ThinkPad X1 Extreme Gen 4? To me, it's a major step up compared to the Gen 3. However, it's falling short in terms of the refresh rate for the display, making it not an ideal laptop for gamers, but only for working professionals. I would love to hear your thoughts about it. Please share them with me in the description below. For those who are first time here, and if you enjoy these type of videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. And if you are getting any value from this video, even just a tiny little bit, I would greatly appreciate if you can give me a big thumbs up below. And if you are not getting any value from this video and still give me a big thumbs up, I owe you a hand job. Thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for your support as always. Please stay safe and enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in my next video. Until then, bye for now.